Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, HOU Living in Houston. We are so grateful you have joined us today. And for today, we want to talk about the pros and cons of living in Houston. So this is just a list of things that maybe you can consider whether Houston is the right city for you. And if there's maybe something I missed out in this list, please write it down below in the comments. We love to hear. And I'm sure a lot of people would also love to know why you love Houston or maybe something that I missed out on the dislikes of Houston. So let's go straight ahead in our list. So we made a list of things that we love about Houston, people that we know love about Houston. So for those of you who don't know, I actually am not from Houston. I moved to Houston. So of course there were things that as I was living here, I noticed and I really loved and friends of mine or people that I know or other people that have moved to Houston have also told me that they love about Houston. So let's just go into our list. See, let's see, number one, cultural diversity. I love this. So Houston is actually one of the most diverse uh, cities in the country. You will find when you come here, you'll hear people speaking different languages. You'll see people of all races, ethnicities, religions, so it's really a very well diverse, well rounded community that everybody is embraces everybody's differences basically. So I really love this and this is definitely one of the reasons to really love Houston. So for next up, let's see, we have here outdoors activities. I love this as well. Um, I love going for a jog, for a run. I love to play tennis. And Houston really offers a lot of parks and places, even baseball fields that you can enjoy with your friends or you can go by yourself. It's really a lot of places that you can check out. We, we have, have the Everglades, we have Memorial City Park. There are so many places to check out that if you are interested, I can make another video later on to show you the different parks and places where you can enjoy some outdoor activities in Houston. Let's see what else do we have in this baggie. No income tax. So I know this is a really big one for a lot of people, of course, including myself, um, who doesn't love not having to pay taxes. So definitely this is something that a lot of businesses, a lot of people, have learned that in Houston, in Texas, there is no state income tax. So that is something that you can rest assured. Let's see what else do we have in this list. Education. So here we have some of the best schools in the country. You have a lot of schools to choose from, whether you prefer to go public, the public schools are amazing here. Um, where I'm from, definitely the private schools were the way to go. But in Houston, I have realized that a lot of people that I know, they love the public schools here. The teachers are amazing. The education is incredible. And of course, you can't forget that there are amazing colleges here. I have to sh give a shout out to U of H, University of Houston. That's where Sanjeev, my husband, he went to college and he loved the whole experience there. There are other amazing universities like Rice University. We have also um, St. Thomas University. There are so many colleges or universities to choose from. You can just take your pick, basically. Let's keep moving on on the list. Arts and entertainment. So I love this because I love the fact that when I moved to Houston, we could go to museums. There were so many places to just sit around, listen to music, and there were so many also, there are so many festivals in Houston that 
they just embrace the different cultures, different uh, people here. So that's really an amazing thing about this city. Uh, I also love the fact that, I don't know if many of you knew this, but many museums are actually free entry on Thursdays. You can probably check it out on their websites. And um, if you're interested, I can also put down a list of the museums that are free on Thursdays that you can check out your family. You can, there are just so much to do. Like you really can just pick a museum every Thursday and just embrace and learn and explore everything each of these museums have to offer. So for next up, we have economic opportunities. So I love this as well because um, there are a lot of business opportunities. Of course, Texas is in the oil and energy industry. So that is definitely one reason to be here that a lot of people move to Houston is because of this. But that's not the only reason that you should come here. There's also a lot of opportunities for the medical field. For There's also a lot of opportunities for the engineering field. There are opportunities for, for almost any field that you can think of. Even if you're interested in real estate, Houston is the place to do that. There's so, many, so much opportunity for anybody who wants to move to Houston. What else do we have here? Amazing food. I can go on and on about the amazing food, but I'm going to try to keep it short. They have, because of the cultural diversity, you will see that that also translates into different cuisines, different restaurants that you can find in Houston. You'll find some of the best restaurants in the country. And I just love trying out new places every week, if possible. And of course, you have Tex-Mex, you have some of amazing sushi, Japanese restaurants, Thai restaurants, Vietnamese, Indian food, Mediterranean food, you name it, you can find it in Houston. And it's just, it just makes me hungry thinking about it. <laughs> what else do we have in this bag? Sports culture. So of course, Houston is home of the Houston Rockets. We also have the Astros. So that is a lot of pride for any Houstonian. We have the Texans. And definitely Houston is very well-rounded. You have every sport, every sport arena. So it's definitely a place that if you love sports, this is the city for you. Let's see what else do we have here? World-class healthcare. So we also have amazing healthcare. You have some of the best doctors. And they're all, and it's readily available if you're in Houston. You have amazing hospitals. So we have the Texas Medical Center in Houston. That is one of the largest medical complexes in the world, providing top-notch um, healthcare facilities and service and specialists in Houston. So definitely, if uh, healthcare is something, of course, it's important to anybody. But if it's really important to you, Houston is definitely a place to come for. And last on our top 10 list, we have affordable housing. Of course, a lot of people have noticed that from other, other cities, other states, people are moving to Houston because of this. You'll find houses that are much bigger than in other states, other cities, and the prices are way more um, affordable and they're way more budget friendly for anybody who's moving either on their own with their families. And of course, um, that's always something that is great. So definitely that is something to consider when you move to Houston. So there you have it. Those are the 10 pros as to why to move to Houston. Now we're gonna go ahead and give you some of the cons of why you shouldn't move to Houston potentially. So now let's talk about the cons of our living in Houston. So let's go through our bag and see what are some of the cons. So first we have zoning. So for a lot of people who didn't know, there is a lack of zoning in Houston. So that could lead to seeing commercial, industrial 
uh, use lands near residential properties. So that is something to consider when moving to Houston. Next up, we have property taxes. So actually Houston, even though you, there is a lot of uh, affordability, housing affordability, you will find that the property taxes here are one of the highest in the country. So that is something to consider as well. I believe it's the sixth state with the highest property taxes. We also have hurricane risk. So that is something to consider. Even though it's not something that happens on a regular basis, whenever it has happened, it has been a major effect in the city. You could have maybe heard that sometimes some hurricanes have affected some areas, people have been displaced, and they've had to leave, of course, their houses. And thankfully, there are a lot of businesses and people here that are very helpful and have helped people who, when this has happened. And of course, there is a good and quick bounce back, but it's still something to consider if um, you're moving to Houston. Next on our cons, we have weather. So Houston does get pretty hot and humid. That is something to consider. Um, we have even gotten to weather up to 105 degrees where it's really bad, really hot. So that is something that sh you should always keep in mind when you're moving anywhere. If you can handle, let's say this Houston summers, that is something that you might want to consider. Next on our cons is floods. So even though that usually happens, of course, because of the hurricanes or if it's raining, you would want to check out which are the zones, which are the areas that have most flooding in Houston before moving. And if it's something that is worth the risk, um, that is something you can check out in the website. You can check out that out in the FEMA website. They can tell you which areas are higher probably of flooding and which areas not so much. We have next, limited walkability. So Houston isn't so well known for being an, a city that you can walk to easily just to anywhere. Um, a lot of places, I consider myself lucky. I do have some grocery stores very close by. So sometimes I love walking to those grocery stores if it's not too much. And um, that is something that I enjoy. I know a lot of people also think like that. They prefer to have places that are close and distant. So that is something maybe to consider if you move to Houston. Um, maybe look for places that have something that are important to you in walking distance of where you want to move. Another one on our list is heat and humidity. I know I mentioned about the weather, but definitely heat and humidity is something to consider, especially if you're like me, that you have a lot of hair I really don't like having frizzy hair and you have to learn how to live with that. But on a more serious note, that is something to consider. The heat here sometimes gets to be pretty bad. It gets very humid. Even though I'm from a country that was also hot and humid, I don't think it was as bad as sometimes it gets here in Houston during the summers. Another con is cultural attractions. So this is something that a lot of people have mentioned that they don't really see a lot of historical attractions in Houston. They wish there was more, but uh, we do have some, maybe not enough for a lot of people. So if that is something you love to check out, that is something to consider. We do have neighboring cities that do have more historical attractions, but in Houston itself, not so much. Another con is air quality. So the pollution here can is kind is pretty bad. It's not, of course, the worst, but there, of course, it can always be better. That is something to consider when moving to Houston. And last but not least in our cons is the traffic. This is a really big one in Houston. You definitely number one need to drive everywhere. Public transportation 
isn't very easily readily available everywhere. It has trying to get better in the past few years and it is getting better, but it still hasn't reached to a level where you can just grab a, take a train or a bus just to go anywhere. You definitely really need to drive everywhere here. There are huge highways, but the traffic does get to be pretty bad. You would also always want to check out what are the peak hours, really check on that. But eventually everybody gets stuck in traffic here. So those are the 10 cons about moving to Houston. If there's anything else I missed out, please write it down below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. So whether you're moving to Houston in nine days or 90 days, we are here for you. Till next time.